All of us here at St. John's hope that you and your family have had a wonderful Christmas celebration and have enjoyed the entire season of Christmas. We know that Christmas is not just a day, but is actually a, a season of 12 days, the 12 days of Christmas stretching from December 25th through January 5th. And then January 6th is the Feast of the Epiphany, when we remember the wise men, these folks who were completely out of the culture and society of Jesus and his earthly family, and yet they came kind of cross-culturally to pay homage. And Epiphany is, is a time that we think about the star that led those wise men from the east, and it's also the idea that Jesus is the morning star that we can use to guide our lives by, that we can use as our sense of navigation. So that idea of brightness and light and Jesus as the morning star are really the important ideas of this very important feast day. And so, of course, uh, with this beloved story of the Magi, we also have a lot of beloved hymns and music. And we'll be singing all of those. We'll be singing, As With Gladness, Men of Old. And we'll be singing at the end, What Star Is This With Beams So Bright? And of course, We Three Kings. But for this video, I thought it would be instructive to maybe take a little bit of time on an aspect of the music and the liturgy that we don't spend a lot of time with. Last Sunday, I was uh, invited and had the pleasure, the privilege of talking to the Daughters of the King. And we had a wonderful relationship, uh, a wonderful conversation in relationship and talking about the spirituality of our music. And we spent actually quite a bit of time talking about the voluntaries that we play at the beginning and the end of the service, the prelude and postlude, which are almost always organ pieces and yet not always. And the idea that these are part of the worship service, they are not separate from it. It's not kind of cover music at the beginning and the end, that they are really integrated into the worship. And sometimes it's easy to lose track of that uh, especially because some of the associations aren't quite as obvious as some of the hymns or the anthems that we sing. So kind of launching as a springboard from that conversation with the Daughters of the King, I would call your attention to the voluntaries, the organ pieces that will begin and end the worship service. The opening voluntary, the prelude, is a piece by the French composer Maurice Duraflay, and it is simply entitled Prelude on the Introit for Epiphany. And the introit is a Gregorian chant that would have started off the Roman rite. And Durafle uh, was working in the 30s and 40s, 1930s and 40s, at a time that already the uh, Gregorian chant, plain song, was coming under fire as being maybe too antiquated and too out of uh, cultural relevance. And of course, those feelings are what ultimately led to Vatican II and the folk masses of the 60s and 70s, and we see still some of those echoes in our music today. But already in the 20s and 30s, Durafle was sensing that this beloved tradition of plain song that, that he really had a connection to was kind of under fire. And so he lifted this up. And so before his congregation would have heard the choir sing the introit, he had this beautiful organ piece that uses that plain song melody. And you'll hear it in the tenor range, kind of in the left hand range, on a mild trumpet, uh, as you have uh, flutes around it in the right hand and the pedals um, accompanying it. And then the melody comes in. and it goes on throughout the entire melody of that introit. So there's nothing really specifically referential to the epiphany, and yet it's a time to just sort of reflect on the beauty of the Gregorian melody that was appointed for the day. And then at the end, the closing uh, postlude will be a toccata using a melody of a German chorale that's associated with epiphany. It starts off with these runs in the hands, these scalar passages. And underneath that, a thundering pedal.
And this melody is actually in our hymnal at number 497. How bright appears the morning star, with mercy beaming from afar, the host of heaven rejoices. And it's interesting, if you have a moment and are wanting to stay behind and listen to the postlude, to go ahead and turn in your hymnal to hymn 497 and read the text as you hear that melody and think about why the composer chose to set it the way he did, and to think about the themes of the poetry and how they are part of the worship service that came before. So we invite you in to always appreciate every part of the service, all of the prayers, and of course the preaching, and the biblical readings, the choir anthems, the hymns, and even the prelude and postlude. We hope that all of these will come together and form a very joyous feast day for you this Sunday as we celebrate Epiphany.